Welcome to a MCCEE Tutoring Services video providing you with all your USMLE and Medical Council of Canada exam content needs. As always, check the description below to skip ahead to the section you want. You can also check out my website for more tools to help you do well on your exams. This presentation will cover ehrlichiosis and anaplasmosis. Microbiology. Bacterial culprits in this case are gram-negative obligate intracellular organisms. What this means is they will not get caught by humoral immunity. Human monocytic ehrlichiosis is caused by Ehrlichia chaffensis, while human granulocytic anaplasmosis, the easier one to pronounce, is caused by anaplasma phagocytophilum. They may cause similar signs and symptoms, but these two bacteria do differ in terms of factor and reservoir. Those can be really annoying exam questions if you are not ready for them. The epidemiology, if you can remember from my Lyme disease video, the link is in the description, can occur with a co-infection of anaplasma and borrelia, the agent of Lyme disease, so that means that they both have the same vector, I scapularis, and the same distribution, and the same reservoir, the white-footed mouse, making anaplasma more common than Ehrlichia. Ehrlichia, on the other hand, is transmitted by Emblioma americanum, which is also known as the Lone Star Tick, with a reservoir of beer. Just to frustrate you even more, the signs and symptoms of ehrlichiosis and anaplasmosis are incredibly nonspecific. These fun signs and symptoms include fever, myalgias and malaise, headache, cough, and dyspnea. It has been described as Rocky Mountain spotted fever without the rash. But just remember, in real life, Rocky Mountain spotted fever can present without a rash as well. But for exam purposes, ehrlichiosis and anaplasmosis cause all the same symptoms as Rocky Mountain spotted fever, but just don't produce the rash. The lab findings are much more interesting, but still nonspecific. This means you have one of two choices. The first choice is you just keep a high index of suspicion during the summer months in areas with these ticks. Your second option is just to quit medicine altogether. Laboratory signs in include leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, which can cause a petechiae type of rash, increased AST, ALT, and alkaline phosphatase, acute kidney injury, and possibly an increase in LDH. Diagnosis is made by morula on blood smear, which is rare, but again, a very common exam question for anaplasmosis. But that being said, the gold standard is PCR. Although you can treat based on clinical suspicion alone. Treatment is doxycycline. It'll be 100 milligrams PO BID for 10 days. Time for a fun practice problem. So a 37 year old female outdoor enthusiast comes to the clinic complaining of fevers, fatigue, and headache. She mentions she has removed a few ticks this summer from herself. She has not left the country recently. CBC shows hemoglobin of 10.3. WBCs of 5,300, and thrombocytes of 210,000. Blood smear shows intracellular parasites. What tick transmitted microbe does she have? If you need a few seconds to think, pause the video right now. The answer is the BCM microti, E. This is the only one on the list that is a parasite. Remember, anaplasmosis is a bacteria with morula as a finding. And all the other answers, such as rickettsia, francisella, anaplasma, and borrelia, 
are all bacteria. Summary. Plichiosis and anaplasmosis are summer diseases with a tick-borne vector Amblyoma americanum and I scapularis and with a reservoir of deer and the white-footed mouse respectively. Signs and symptoms are vague and include fever, malaise, headache, cough, and dyspnea. Lab tests may show, but not always, leukopenia, thrombocytopenia, increased aminotransferases, an alkaline phosphatase, acute kidney injury, and increased LDH. Diagnosis is clinical, but can also be done with PCR or morula on smear. Treatment is with doxycycline, but revampin can be used if pregnant. Always advise people to wear pants. Check for new molds after hiking and wear repellent containing DEET. This has been a MCCEE Tutoring Services production. For a link to the website, see the video description where you can learn more about what uh, MCCEE Tutoring Services has to offer. Thank you and have a great day.